So a few days ago, Gluck and the Nasty One made probably the biggest mod in Castle Crashers history, which gives every single character a new appearance, adds a ton of new custom weapons, and also adds a few custom characters with different magic abilities. So in this video, I'm going to be covering the new characters and what their magic abilities are. Okay, so the first guy I'm going to be testing out is this gas mask guy. And also, I'm not really sure what this guy's actual name is, but I'm just going to be referring to him as gas mask guy. So yeah, that's pretty much his new name anyways let's test out this guy's magic okay so it seems like he throws bombs for his light magic and his heavy magic is okay so it's just raining bombs from the sky that's pretty cool i feel like this heavy magic would really suit the cone head because the groom is always like shooting bombs from the cannons and stuff but yeah i do think this guy is a pretty cool character and as you can see he has a custom weapon which is like an arrow okay so let's test out his magic Okay, it's pretty solid. We almost killed him on the first cycle, which is pretty good. Okay, can this guy just hit the boat already? Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna just finish him off now. Okay, for the next character testing, I'm gonna choose the stove face. And as you can see, he's actually a stove face. So he's living up to the name pretty well. It seems like this guy's light magic just... Oh my god, that dude just got launched. But anyways, what I was gonna say is that this guy's light magic pretty much just throws down like a flaming anvil or something. And also this thing seems like, you know, it would hurt a little bit if you dropped it on your foot. And also it just launches these poor guys. I mean, I know they're enemies, but man, you gotta feel a little bit bad for them sometimes. And also his heavy magic is just like the fire knight's ability, except he shoots it from his face. And his light magic is just the blacksmith's hammer, which is also pretty cool. And now for the third character, which is the mushroom guy. This guy is probably my favorite out of the bunch, as his magic, very fittingly, is mushroom magic. So it kind of just like poisons them, and I just think that's a cool concept, because I don't think any other knight actually poisons them from the ground. Like I know the green knight does poison them, but he does it like a splash attack. And yeah, the mushroom guy also looks pretty cool. And also, this guy's light magic throws a cluster of mushrooms that kind of like explodes on impact. I think I might actually like this one more than the heavy magic, as it just feels more fun to use, you know? I mean, just like, look how satisfying it is when you hit somebody. Nice. And now for the final character, we're going to be testing out the gnome. And also, as I walk over to the aliens, we're getting really close to 15,000 subs. So if you're enjoying the video at least a little bit, consider hitting that subscribe button. Anyways, let's test out this magic. Okay, so it seems like the light magic is just tossing acorns like the brute. And now let's test the heavy magic. Okay, if these guys can actually like stop hitting me for like two seconds. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what this does. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked, but what is this glowing dude? Like, what is going on in here? Okay, so apparently this field of like flowers and stuff actually heals you a little bit, as you can see right there. And also the magic bar takes a long time to fill up and I'm not really sure why. Okay, I gotta actually lock in because I don't wanna actually get killed on this level. This is like the most embarrassing part of the level to get killed on. And also I'm definitely a fan of the rainbow aliens. I feel like that's a nice touch to this level. Okay, now let me just finish the last part of this level, and if I don't make it, that would be pretty embarrassing, because I've been playing this game for way too long. Okay, not too bad of a start, definitely not the best. Okay, that was nice. From this point on, it's pretty much smooth sailing, so that wasn't too bad. 